station at the Grand Canyon that keeps the lights on here at the South Rim is close to capacity thanks to much needed upgrades in infrastructure. So APS has built this new station that has four times the power. We, uh, we haven't done near the amount of work that we've done today in the Grand Canyon National Park. The Grand Canyon's current electrical system was built in the 1950s. Now, as the park is creating a Trans Canyon water line, adding e-car chargers and other electrical updates, they need more power. And we really did need to invest in the electrical infrastructure to support all of the utility infrastructure we were upgrading. So they called APS, who began working on a new and more powerful substation. Joe Weathersby with APS says this new station will be able to produce 41 megawatts. The old station was only 10 megawatts. So when you think about one megawatt, um, you can think about a large Walmart. This locale with 41, we're talking about 6,500 plus homes that this would power. The substation was designed to blend in with the park and not impact the wildlife in the area. It was also built in a fire resistant area in case there's a wildfire in the park. It even has two transformers to keep power on during an emergency. Redundancy is built in. We have one issue with one piece of equipment or the power in and out of it. We have another one sitting there ready to switch to. Park officials say as they plan to keep updating and innovating, this substation will play a key role in powering the Grand Canyon for generations to come. That we have the power we can do that and it's simply more just planning for the distribution lines within the park. The, the heavy lift is over. We know that this substation can provide power to any part of this park. Reporting from the Grand Canyon, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.